afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Sock Swish Show Market Review of the SPY. I thought I'd review the SPY today because I made a great call in this market today. I called it bullish, and I actually started the market with power trend today and get over the high and have a huge green, big green bar today this morning before 10 o'clock. That's exactly what's playing out here. And it was a really, really good read in the market because it was tough. I think a lot of people thought the scalp down in the market today would fall because people are waiting for the market to fall. For some reason, this idea of this market, people think that it's extended and they want to short it, they want to short it, and they want to short it, and I don't know why. There's no reason to short this here whatsoever. And this idea of exhaustion or extension, people don't get. I don't think the market is extended. I don't think it's exhausted. I think it's in a beautiful uptrend that isn't doing anything wrong. And it really hasn't done anything wrong since the beginning of the year. Here we have January. Market came in, got bought, made a new high. Here the market came in, got bought. Rested, 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 and it's continuing to rally. I know that people think because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten days in a row green bullishness, people think that's extended, but the fact is it's not. The way it's set up, the way the price action is traded, the way that it's been doing the thing that's every day, it's not extended. The market is doing its thing, it's going higher, it's getting bought, and people keep shorting it, and then the shorts are gonna get stopped out. I mean, people, people are probably People are still probably thinking that this is extended and we're now here today. And the market has had a beautiful, concentrated, very tight rally today that you had time to get in. You had entries to take it. I called in the morning here right before 10 o'clock that the market was going to power trend today and go over the high and have a huge green day. I called it right in here and I called it and said buy it, put the stop under the low of the day. And then I called an exact entry here in the five minute chart with a stop under here. If you did that, you're up. You could lower the stop here. You could have taken more in here. Next target's 193.75, 194, and the real target with the SPY is 195. I actually said this someone last night, although at the time last night, I didn't know the market would get up to this level here this morning. But when I saw the gap this morning, the first thing I saw on immediate, when I first looked at it, I said, I have to look at this seriously, because I thought, well, if we broke quick, then we'd fall. But then I took a serious more look at it, and I said, no, 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 no. I think we're going to fake. Meaning, I think we're going to break, fake lower, and then flip. And that's exactly what happened. Market broke the low, rallied over the high. People shorted this or bought it. People probably didn't know what to do in here. Some people buying, some people shorting. It's confusing. People didn't know how to read the gap. Then the market convincingly broke the low and immediately got bought. Immediately got bought into a teeny, 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 tiny, weeny support area. And that is exactly what happened. And then the market took off. And somewhere in here, I saw it. It's just instinct, and I knew, and I knew it was going to happen. And we did the fake I thought we'd do. I thought we'd fake lower, and that's exactly what happened. Because we weren't going to come in, and we're not going to be in, and we're getting bought. And this market will have a nice rally to the close, and the market will close very strong today. It is 1.07 in the afternoon, and this market is just going to keep going higher. And you could buy any pullback in this market today. Market will power trend all day and have beautiful setups, and that's what it's doing. Three more hours left in the day. 194 is inside 193.75, and it is possible that the market could have a big rally into the close into 195. And if it doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised if the market gaps up again tomorrow into that area. So a very good lesson here to, to understand is not to trade against the trend of something. And yet many traders want to do that. I think that's the reason there will always be a market. And I think that's one of the reasons why I have a special gift in reference to my ability to read price in live time. I'm very good at reading price in live time when something happens as soon as I see it. It's part my knowledge of trading gaps and what I teach in the class and what I've been doing now for six years. And I absolutely do have an instinct in order to read price action where I can see something to, to say the market's going to have a huge day just out of nowhere. In the minute, just, just to say it out of nowhere this morning, way before it even happens. My ability to be able to see that something's going to go to a level by reading the price on the given day is a, is a talent. It's a skill. And I think that you can learn how to become a good skilled trader. You can, because I've done that. I've taught myself, and the market's taught me a lot, and now I'm teaching other people. And you can learn what I know from me. And I think that it is extremely important to understand that if you want to trade against the trend, the chances are you will not have good results in your trading and you will not have any longevity or consistency in trading the market. And I don't care if you're a day trader, a swing trader, a core trader, it doesn't matter what your position sizing is, small or large, it, you have to be able to get in trades of the right direction, whether they're stocks in the market. And to try to pick tops and bottoms is a very bad idea because that's how you get hurt. People have had a difficult time buying this market that are traders because they feel that it's extended, so they're not buying it. But do you see how when I talked about the lecture on Monday, Kramer said the market was extended here in the 27th. 
you could have bought the market there. And if you had, you'd be up. You'd be up $1.50. And many people didn't read this the way that I did and thought the market was extended here and look at it today. It's continuing higher as well. So because people felt that it was extended already and didn't want to buy it, they're trying to short it because they're wanting to do something. First of all, you don't have to do something all the time. There's days that you could get up and actually not trade, and some days I don't trade if I don't get something that meets my qualifying system. Okay? Some days you don't do anything. Maybe there's more than one day you don't do something in a week or a month. But you certainly don't short a market that looks like this. The market is probably going to be bullish the whole year. Every type of uh, negative data the market seems to shrug off. The way that we rested for the first five months of the year is almost like the preemption. It's like the it's like somebody working themselves up to, to run a race. It's almost like the first five months of the year that the market uh, was doing its thing, coming in, squiggling around, and people were thought it was topping then and were trying to short it, and it did the double top, and it came in, and people thought it was extended then because of the rally in 2013. But it's almost like all the activity the market had from January through May uh, was the market getting ready for a big race that has started. It started about a week ago. And it's been on it's been starting it, but now you're really gonna see that effect. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if June turned out to be an extremely in fact the summer. I wouldn't be surprised if June, July, and August ended up being a crazy bullish summer for the market. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Because it's almost like all the activity that happened in the first five months of the year was waiting to get going for the summer. And that actually goes against a lot of historical pattern data that people talk about, which is sell in May, go away, and come back and buy in the fall. I don't listen to things like that. I don't look at things like that. I don't do anything like that. I take what's happening now in my time. And I may look at historical price patterns, but I don't look at any correlation between what's happening in the time periods of the year or the year itself or the months of the year or the weeks of the year. I'm reading the actual price of things that did happen before, but I am really reading what's happening right now. And I am really reading the gaps in the market. And you cannot not read what is happening right now. The One of the reasons I'm very successful as a trader is I can read very well right now. And that's why I trade aggressively in the morning in the open and gaps. And that's why I'm good at it. So that has made me a good person to read technical analysis and read the price action of the market. Because I'm reading it right now. And the market is challenging sometimes to read. Today was such a challenging day to read the market. I am certain that almost every trading room out there was looking at this market gap down today to be sold off, with the exception of me. And I am a person that likes to short. You know, so there is nothing more important than what's happening right now in the price of a stock or the market. And you must learn how to read price accurately in live time to make accurate trading decisions. And if you do not know how to do that, then you know you can reach out to me and take my class. And you will learn from me what I know over time, trading with me, doing the class, and being in the room. I think there's a lot of value to being in my live trading room because of the way that I think call things live. And I think it's over and top and beyond what you get in the class. You have to do the class as a prerequisite to be in the room because I believe that people need to know how to trade. But, you know, this idea of selling in May and going away and, and coming into the fall is not setting up the way people see it this year. That was another reason people thought that this was all going to happen and come in here in May. No. So you can't just say, da 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 because it's summer. I think we're going to have a really bullish summer. Yep. It's really going to be very interesting for people. And then what's going to happen is people are going to see confidently then that the market is actually higher. And they're going to finally give up on shorting it. And by the time that happens, the market will have a rally. And then by the time the shorts finally stop, stop shorting, traders that are trying to short this, there will be a rally. The rally will happen. The rally is happening now. People will st still keep trying to short it, saying it's extended. Then those people will eventually give up on it. And when that eventually happens, then those people will be stopped out. They'll push the market higher. And then it'll go even higher, and that's what makes that's what makes true extension. Then sometimes, but even still, uh, there's opportunities to buy in here, and they all need to be taken if you really like to go long, and if you really want to go long the market. and And you could have gone long the market today. It was a great play. I actually considered doing it. I decided not to, but I almost did. And I really never go long. But I saw it. I saw it really early this morning, 
really, 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 really early this morning. I mean, it's just, you know, I can go on and on and on and on and on, but there's many, many support levels in stocks in the market. There's a first support level, secondary, a third, a fourth. It's just like resistance if you're looking at shorts, and you do need to know every level. So you can't assume uh, that something is going to hold any one of the areas. You have to watch how the price action acts at that specific area. And you can have a bias where you insist that something is a short, and you keep going after it, going after it, going after it, or a long, and you keep going after it, and the price action is telling you it's not. So if you thought this market was a short today, and if you shorted this, or anything where you needed the market today, shorted any, there was a lot of things that gapped down today, and there really wasn't really that many good gaps down. If you shorted this here and got stopped out, you might have shorted again. If it came in here and you got stopped out, I'm sure some people tried to short this again in here. I'm sure some people tried to go after this again here. It was still early there on 10 o'clock. But around in here, I knew then, somewhere in here, this market was, that was the low of the day in the market. It couldn't be shorted. It was long. But many times what happens is people won't give up on their bias. They'll keep insisting to short, take stop after stop after stop, or take the position here, not even put a stop. And you can see what's happening here if you did not get out of a short position here in the morning. And, and people are still going to try to short this. So the market's either going to rally up to 193.75 today or 194, or fly, just fly into the close and go to 195. But really, to be honest with you, 195 is a dream target for a day trade today for the SPY, but it could do it. We got up to 193.30. So here's the targets, 193.50, 193.75, 194. After that, 195. And if the market doesn't get to that dream target today, could get up to it tomorrow morning or anywhere above 194 if it doesn't get to that number today. So expect this to follow through. Expect this to follow through here today. Expect this to follow through in a gap tomorrow morning. If I get up tomorrow morning, the market gaps down, I have to look at everything very hard. And that's what I did this morning. I was focused. I was really, 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 really focused on reading this right. Not to just assume that it was going to get shorted like everybody else probably thought and specifically because the market was gapping down and it's had a nice run, but the run isn't over. It's really just beginning. And I actually am putting this out there now. I actually think it's going to be a very bullish summer, which is the opposite of what most people see in the historical pattern data, the way that people act and buy in short stocks. And it's because the people haven't been really invested in things for the first five months of the year. And they've been waiting, 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 waiting. And people do need to do things with their money. And they do want to make money on things. And it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. They want to do it. And if people think we're in a bullish market and going to get a bullish run, they won't want to miss it. And they will buy and invest their money back into the market here in stocks and the market because they're going to want to get paid and make money and make profits. And people kind of sat on the sidelines a lot at the beginning of the year. They were unsure. Is it coming in? Is it, are we too extended? Are we this and that? That's why you got to learn how to read price action for yourself. When you learn how to read stuff for yourself, you'll make your own decisions. And even if you make one that's wrong, you'll learn from your mistakes. If you want to learn how to trade from me, I'm doing a class this weekend, June 7th and 8th. It's called the Golden Gap Class. I believe that's the reason I'm very accurate at reading price is because I understand gaps. And in my opinion, there is no other better evidence of price than gaps. You can tell a lot from a gap, whether it's good or bad. And all of that information helps me trade accurately. This is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com. If you'd like more information or want to sign up for the class this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.